Hey folks, welcome back to There's an Ad Playing on my timer and what the man. Nah. Alright, welcome back to Let's Play. Legacy of the thing with the guys uh, Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origin. I'm Mr. JG. So I've been away from this game for a week as I talked about last time. I was uh, I had to get like one video in to give myself a little time and I was going off to a week of being T D Y and blah 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 blah. Work's been kinda of stressful recently. But uh, this is a world where there is no stress. We just have 30 minutes of a time of getting owned by cannons. But now we've cleared out that and we're ready to progress. We had a whole thing with like a whole... It's going to be a recurring theme in this game. Like, cannon on the other side of the map keeps killing you and you have to find a way to get to, in this case, not the cannon itself, but to things that shut the cannon off. And we did that last time, so we're ready to get back to it. Uh, R1 is attack in this game. The circle is not a bad thing. Oh, God. I'm just trying to get my basic, basic, basic controls back before we charge off into danger. So let's go, go, go. Move, move, move. So you do have enemies down there. Do we even get down there? I don't think we did. Sea Devils, one of the... Ah, damn it, I thought I hit a button to not get murdered by enemies, but I guess I hit the wrong not get murdered by enemies button. Purity attire. That's all about. At least we have time to take a breather. Yeah, I have a feeling we're probably getting to a boss fight, and I barely remember how to play the game, but we'll see what happens. I do remember within the last video or two, we got some lore. Oh, look at it. We got a lot of blood gets collected up on these big, uh, big back whoppets that, uh, you know, uh, Jet Black and uh, Spike here have. Faye Valentine's got like a katana, so. Save it. There's a fight up ahead, and it won't be easy. We have to focus on what's in front of us before we can think about the things behind us. Yeah, but I was going to tell you... Completely single-minded, huh? Yeah. I was going to tell you that your uh, fly's down, Jack. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that's it. I think I just spent the last... Over there. Eep. I think... Should we take a breather? I think this is it. I think there's a boss fight ahead. I think I spent the last video... Getting through some shit, getting to a boss fight, then stepped away from the game for over a week, and I'm now about to get into a boss fight, and that's all we're doing in this, uh, so that's, that's great. Um, but I was gonna say, from a lore perspective, I think, see, I don't even remember, you switch with triangle? How do you do spells? Oh, that's this whole menu that I never use. L2 is this. Oh, I can't do spells because that's art. Gotcha. All right, now I. Now let's make a little bit more sense. All right. Uh, no, but uh, the Lufinians. You know who the Lufinians are? Well, in Final Fantasy One, the Lufinians were, you know, because of the sprite, because of what you could do with sprites at the time. I thought of them as people, as just like regular old people who are wearing uh, togas. But uh, in final, in the original Final Fantasy, way back in the day, Lufin was a city up in the one of the last cities you're able to reach in the game. And the people there don't speak the same language as everyone else, and they used to live in the, the floating palace of Tiamat, but they got kicked at by Tiamat. Um, and I think if you really pay attention to the lore, or if you play the various remastered, redone versions where the uh, story is explained and the translation's a little bit better, like, they're, they're the descendants of people who used to live in the sky... Uh, and whether they're a different spe- I don't think- I never thought they were a different species. I thought they were just a group of humans who had a better- better memory of the ancestors of modern humans than other humans did. Uh, but in this game, it would appear that the Lufinians, uh, we got some text-only, uh, lore from looking at glowing stuff and hitting this button that- oh, you can't tell what button I'm hitting. 
Like you know, you would hold hold out your hand over some glowing sphere, and we would get uh, text written lore. And the Lufinians think that humans are. Uh, we used to be at war with Lufinians. Humans and Lufinians used to be at war, and somehow Lufinians didn't wipe out humans, but now some of them regret it, because the Lufinians have something more going on where they're trying to achieve perfect balance, and the humans uh, represent a chaotic chaos, or or rather, the possibility of chaos. I don't know. Final Fantasy XIII was obsessed with the idea that divine order represented by uh, the gods was didn't allow for human free will, and therefore humans were kind of agents of chaos. And this game is like playing around with the same themes, but I haven't quite figured out what the hell they're getting at yet, so maybe it'll become clear as we, yeah, I figure we're about to fight a boss. And again, I stepped away from Wolong for like a week, and it rip it like because I got to a boss fight that I tried several times to beat in a video, and I couldn't beat it. And then stepped away for a week and came back and beat it on the first try. So maybe this would be fantastic for my game ability. Who knows? The monsters are bad news, but the mist is even worse. Touch it. Are you sure it's the someone else's memories become? It could be the dust from uh, whichever Metal Gear game. Robo Scorpion is an enemy now. I guess we're not fighting Kraken, we're fighting a Robo Scorpion. I thought I blocked. Yeah, one of our guys got taken out right off the bat there. That wasn't good. <laughs> this is a game that likes to punish you by giving you reduced MP when you don't win. Great Claw's formidable beast with wider range of offensive capabilities, powerful snapping claws, and a deadly tailor, obvious, but abilities like missiles and wave cannon are its arsenal of special notice wave cannon, which affects real punch when it hits. Enough damage to either its legs, its claws, or its tail will stagger the beast, hoping the opportunity to hit it hard and fast. Another thing, keep and the fighters to fight on its back using the ability of dra gravity can draw on enemies, or. Well, maybe that's not all, it can also use this incredible fundamental force to change the trajectory of its missile and wave cannons with flight. Yeah, this game likes to punish you for not winning on the first try by making it harder with subsequent tries because you lose your maximum MP. Like the the, the whole how to make how to have a high enough maximum MP to actually be good mechanic, I haven't quite. It's like, what the fuck do you want me to do, game? Like you you uh, don't use your special abilities. Because if you if you use your special abilities here, you won't get the MPs back. Or you have to use them in a very specific way. It's too easy. Like, did that give me so MPs serious. back? I don't think it did. Yeah, you want to do stuff like this to get. Yeah. Or Zentetsuken, I guess, is a thing we could be using to get MPs back. But I hate to even spend time on this because you could you could spend a lot of time trying to get those MPs back and then go in and quickly lose against the next boss. We've gotten ourselves in these game pay, gameplay loops before. I remember in the Floating Palace of Tiamat stage. Getting to a bit of a loop where I was fighting and 
fighting in loops against those jellies, trying to actually get my MPs back. You know, see, that actually hurt me for my uh, max MPs, because I was trying to... Trying to get him to a spot where I could finish him with a circle move. <laughs> there you are. Let's knock him down. There you go. Good job. Now on to the next. So I need to be using Zon uh Zonketsuken is, is basically what I gotta do if I want to build up my uh, max MPs. So that I can go in, fight the boss, and then, you know, quickly lose. <laughs> and uh, whatever MP was drained and failed fights against the boss will not come back. So Jack seems obsessed with not figuring out what's going on. Okay, that actually didn't go that good. That again didn't go that good. Let's keep it up. Like, rather than getting MPs out of that, I think we lost some max MP. You know, I almost feel sorry for them. Victory was guaranteed. Yeah, like, I don't think that helped any. I'm doing entire runs where all we're getting is a piddling amount of experience. We're not actually... <laughs> If I don't finish him off at the right time with, uh... I mean, if somebody is ex understanding something I'm not understanding about the gameplay mechanics, let me know. I can't do this for much longer. This whole Let's Play hobby, I don't understand. It's like a fad that, that lost popularity like 10 years ago. I don't... <clears throat> did. We're used to it at this point. The thing to do, and it's not that complicated, I just have to keep doing it consistently, is uh, get him down to like just barely still alive and then hit him with Zonketsuken to finish them off. That's the thing. One thing I haven't figured out how to do with consistency uh, is uh, if... Now I gets knocked down. I'm playing as a white mage. Like the whole point should be that I can get them back up quickly, right? But um, I don't know how to target my allies with the raise spell. Or at least I haven't been able to quickly do it while running around not getting killed. We got company. Come on, follow me. Frenzied Scratch. It's 
Scratch is um, the name of my uh, Let's go. sister's dog. So if he was frenzied, he would be barking and yelling a lot, I guess. Alright, so being a little bit more consistent about doing it the correct way, but we're halfway through a video at this point. Everyone else has max MP, but not me. <laughs> Sorry. I can't quite figure out if I've got a cold or not. So got the, I felt like I'm at the beginning of having a cold, but I felt like that for a couple of days without it fully setting in, if you know that feeling. Maybe I'll go in while I've got access to the powerful water spray ability. Water could be the weakness of this thing, in theory. Oh, it's got water cannon, which suggests it doesn't care about water, but... Ow. 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 Ow! Feeling bad. Oh, okay. I haven't figured out how to avoid taking damage at all. Alright, let's go to a cinematic. Let's break our immersion that this is a fighting game and switch to a cinematic for a while. Okay, don't screw it up now. All right. I think I may have forgotten how to do regular old attacks during that first fight. It didn't seem too bad to say. Well, I mean, it was doing a shit ton of damage. I shouldn't act like it. It did feel like every time I got hit, I was near death. But uh, taking advantage of my allies, distracting it was good. I burned up all our MP. I hope we're not going straight to another nice boss. Work. I love our outfits with the different goofy hats. Kraken is presumably a separate fight, right? The mist's coming. No matter what you do, don't feel memory. Oh, he wants Jed to feel memory. Or not to be denied his chance to feel memory. Yeah, okay, so... He's trying to make Jed experience or Jack experience these memories that uh, Just tell me what you need me to do. Even though we're here in the weird Shut up. I remember there have always hated you and thought you should talk. Why would I come back? I'm nobody around here anyway. That's true. Well, you're nobody here. <laughs> Okay, so like Jack's the only one who refuses to think about what their memories are. Pretty bold for a nobody. <laughs> Thumbs up. I guess that's what this is. Or is you're free to go home later, but for now I need you here. Well, then you, he's not free. Then he's not free to go home. It's like... You will as your own, but not yet. <laughs> Was he giving a thumbs up, or was that just a weird artifact of, like, the little blade thing on his gauntlet? Like, I couldn't... No, I can't tell. Oh. Anyway. So, Wimpy Comic Relief Guy is 
forcing Jack to face these memories. Oh wait, that was it. I guess Kraken is a different stage of the place. I don't know. Anyway, to remember completed. Main mission, Memories of Water. This mission is now available. I guess I shouldn't be that shocked. It seemed like a lot of the other places. Wait, you have to do water last. It was Gurgu Volcano or Earth Cave that... Well, Earth was like a mausoleum in this game. Yeah, you always do the uh, Wind Crystal first in this version of things. And then you choose Earth or Fire. But I guess... I don't remember the... Uh, Following Cybish has been unlocked. Coral Memories, the greedy location. No, the greedy. <laughs> Sorry, location cavern of Earth. Oh, the sacrifice, ruins of Machina. The forbidden Machina. Alright, so if this ruins of Machina was only one level... I guess, uh... I was, uh, being silly. Everything, everything so far, it's been two story missions to get a crystal. And, uh, I'm trying to think, was there a story mission before we got to Ruins of Machina? Um, and the answer is no, but since we just jumped straight there and it was... We're on Rack, or whatever the village is called in the, in the main game. The original game, I should say. I guess I thought we'd fight, uh... Kraken at the end of it. But no, it's no boss rush with Kraken at the end. This is so we hadn't reached the level with Kraken at the end of it, because... You always fight a level, and then the second level in a chain is the one that would have the fiend in it. So, never mind. <laughs> I don't understand, then. I thought the idea was that with the mist... What we'd seen previously is that every time we beat one of the fiends, one of our characters is suddenly, like, swarmed with memories, and Jack uses the crystal thing to take the memories away. I'm really confused. Isn't that what happened? Like, somebody would get, like blasted with memories and, and and Jack would or no somebody I'm confused the narrative has thrown me off but there's definitely something going on where every time we confront one of the four fiends we get a blast of memories past we skipped the whole thing where you have to buy a ferry from uh, a caravan of the desert like are we never going to interact with this part of the map sad apologize where's Sarda the sage justice for Sarda come on we never even meet the gnomes or the dwarves. But I don't remember where which. But I don't remember which one they're called in this. The town of Crescent Lake. I mean, there's plenty of story left to come, I'm sure. But um. All right. Well, we got a few minutes left here. Um. No, I don't want it selected. Well, story is even easier. Hard is even harder. We're on the default difficulty. I didn't particularly mean to go in and start messing with that. I just couldn't <laughs> figure out a better. I guess what I'm trying to do is get to this menu. Here we are. The anxious rumblings of earth. The anxious is new, I think. Let's talk to the peoples. Let's check in with the people-minded. Reports say the pirates are running amok nearby. Uh, though I suppose they are bandits on land, pirates on sea. Oh, never mind. This is Whenever there. you call, be on alert for those murderous marauders. They're buccaneers on land, but I guess... Uh... I guess this isn't new after all. I understand all. the pirates have slaughtered their way nearly to the city walls. Sleep of one eye Sleep open. Sleep with one eye open. Keeping a bit of tight. Yeah, maybe we've already seen this then. The farm's done for. The earth shifts and swallows my crops, and violent storms wash away what little's left. It must be a sign. Signs, signs the everywhere. Land's signs. Screaming at me to let it sit fallow. It's frightening. What will happen if the harvest fails? Oh, you starve. Should be obvious. Greedy folks are already starting to hoard food. So we'll just have to eat the greedy. Thanks to those greedy fools hoarding supplies, my dinner table's looking mighty bare. Why, isn't Why the can't they be like me, eating like a glutton and not hoarding anything? Lofty throne to help us simple folk. 
Yeah, uh, things are turning pretty quickly. <laughs> the folks, uh, it didn't take any time at all for folks to start just getting nasty, did it? Jack, please restore the crystals and soon. Stop fucking around. You're warriors of light, aren't you? It's your duty to save us. Julia's, uh, Julia's design puzzles me in particular. They seem to... They seem to have gone to great effort to make sure that she has a huge rack, but she's older. I remember coming across this uh, when when Eva shows up in Metal Gear Solid 4 as uh, Magda Plupu or whatever. Like, I think I remember hearing in an interview somewhere that um, Hideo Kojima had... Uh, or that was part of his design with the boss. He thought that video games had not done a good job of give, like they had these young women who are hypersexualized, but they hadn't really displayed powerful older women. So he gives us the boss who is older, and she's got a pretty firm, firm pair of breasts. But like, I know, it's not, I know that sounds weird, but like you'll see why I'm getting there in a minute. But like, no, she it wasn't. Yeah, she seemed like a pretty competent, and they didn't do, like, she's going around wearing that, like, shiny, skin-tight suit, but there was kind of a reason for it. Um, and then Mabuga Plupu shows up, and it's Eva when she's older, so of course she still has huge breasts. So now, like, I'm noticing this, is like, I wonder, like, is some random, oh, was street, it's, I don't know what, I was reading an article about the, the character design, some, something talking about character designs of... Yeah, like, I think it was Street Fighter. It might have been, like, Mace, uh, Vice and Mature, who were the sidekicks of Rugal, and now the sidekicks of Iori. Like, I can't remember what what uh, rabbit hole I went down that I was reading this, but it was it was comments from the people who designed their characters from one game to the next, talking about how some, some fans were upset that we didn't show enough leg, but we wanted to bring back the secretarial sexiness as opposed to a more generic sexiness. <laughs> so, like, when I see Julia, who's like, She's supposed to be older, but they gave him, they gave her these huge, really firm breasts. I'm like, wait a second, what, what's can't anybody just be normal looking? This might just be my, maybe my own perversions are creeping in and affecting how I interpret the game. But seems like those villainous scoundrels over in Fravica finally shook their leash. We should seal off the bridge before they come across to loot and plunder. Was this Captain Planet? They're here to loot and plunder. <laughs> Anyway, all right. Uh, so we got through a video. Uh, I guess I should just accept that as being good enough for now. When we come back next time, we'll be doing side ops. Looks like I might need to do so. Oh, job trees! I got levels up in something. It looks like I need to do some inventory management again. Already, every seems like pretty much every single time there's more inventory management needs to get done. Got these job points and jobs where I've already unlocked everything and it don't matter. New job, Tyrant. Be your weapon with a chosen element. Can be set to any link slot. We can also unlock Assassin. Assassinate. Deal damage based on the number of marks on an enemy. Land a critical hit to mark an enemy. Well, let's see. I've got Red Mage Affinity. Dark Knight. I guess uh, Dark Knight's the stage. I've unlocked Dark Knight at this point. I just need to actually use it at some point if I'm actually interested in using it. Soul Eater Mastery. <laughs> so I have plus 10 and plus 15. I'm working towards plus 25. I didn't actually... Hold on. Damn it. I messed up here so now I need to if I don't want soul eat yep 
Yeah, I'd have to pick a slot to put Drain in. Stop! Shush, you. Shush. Okay. Assassin or Tyrant? I need to... I guess I'm inching closer to both rather than getting all the way to one. Alright, whatever. Okay, I feel like I gave... I, I, I end up coming out of every video with more inventory management to do, but... Oh no, I meant, uh, I got plenty of, uh, slots left, it looks like. Yeah, because I did a lot of going through inventory, uh, between videos. So I guess it's only inventory, I only have inventory in the issues in the set, that, in the sense that I'm running out of space in inventory. Okay, so I'm not going to do a bunch of inventory management. When we come back next time, I probably won't have done inventory management between videos either. I'll wait until I'm... I got a bunch of shit in storage that I got to sort through because I, I came up with a way to do it, which was kind of time intensive, but it did involve like keeping a few of each weapon type. Um, when we come back next time, uh, we'll be probably doing side ops, actually, uh, because we just unlocked like two different side ops. Uh, but maybe I'll just decide I don't feel like it and we'll go straight into the sea shrine um, because that would be much more likely to actually provide us with some story. Catch you next time.